Hi guys, Alec Pierce Scuba Tech Tips once again, and I have with me a plate. Yeah, now this is not a plate for chili or steaks or anything. No, this is a plate it's called a back plate. Now, okay, let me explain. 99% of my tech tips to this time have been for recreational divers. Now that doesn't mean that you techie guys can't listen to them because there's some good tips in there, how to take care of your stuff, all kinds of neat junk in there. But most of it has been directed at the recreational diver, new or very experienced, doesn't matter. However, I do get a lot of comments from, uh, from technical divers asking for things about wings versus stabs, and we did that, and other things as well. This is really, although it's not strictly technical, this is kind of related to, you know, to technical. This is for you guys, okay? So recreational divers, pay attention. It's good to know this stuff. You may, get, you may be interested. You can go to your local dive store and ask about it. And you tech divers, this is for you. Backplate. Now this is an interesting backplate because this one's plastic or fiberglass or cyclac or whatever they call the latest can't break it plastic. Backplate. So what is a backplate? Well, a backplate is exactly what it says. It goes in your back. Just like that. Just that simple. The beauty of having a backplate as opposed to a stab jacket or even a back-mounted BC, a wing-type BC, is that the backplate gives you versatility. You can do a lot with a backplate. Back, back plate. Various uh, sizes of air cells. Air cell is the part of your BC that has air in it, right? Various sizes. So if you if you buy a, a, a BC, a stab jacket BC, to fit your body, it may have 35, 40, 45 pounds of lift. Maybe you don't want that much. Maybe you're doing a different type of dive where you just need 20 or 25 pounds of lift. Maybe you need more than that. Often there are some divers who dive with 75 pound lift air cells, big air cells that hold, have a lot of air and a lot of lift. Well, you don't, want to, you don't want to buy four or five different BCs with a back plate. One of the things you can do is very quickly change the size of the air cell. Most air cells, certainly from the same manufacturer, will fit onto most back plates. Most back plates, even from different manufacturers, be it OMS or Dive Right or Halcyon, they're the, probably the three biggest names in uh, technical diving. Most of the back plates are punched similarly for the straps, for the webbing, and for the air cell. So you can switch and swap. That's the beauty of it. Now there's another reason for a back plate. This one, I'm going to guess this one weighs two pounds. This one, this one, help me, Kevin. <laughs> this one weighs quite a bit more. This one probably weighs about four pounds, maybe five pounds. And there's a heavier version. Dan here at Dan's Dive Shop in St. Catharines, Ontario, he was just telling me that they have one of these steel Chrome, by the way, if you like chrome. That's uh, one of these steel back plates, which is twice as thick and probably weighs five or six pounds. Well, what's, oh, as much as 10 pounds. It says on the sign, I just saw it there, as much as 10 pounds. Uh, so why would you want a 10 pound back plate? Well, how many of you have complained to me about having too many weights? You're getting a sore back and you can't get all the weights into your BC and how do you distribute, all of you, a lot of you anyway, have asked me for tips on how to distribute the weight. There you go. If you get one of these, five pounds, or the bigger one, 10 pounds. That's not a weight. It's actually part of your buoyancy compensating system. It's the back plate. 10 pounds. Well, that's 10 pounds you don't have to have on your weight belt or in your weight pockets. So that's another good reason for using a back plate. And certainly technical divers like this because technical divers do weird things. Yeah, they stand on their head. Sometimes they're on their back. They fin backwards. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. Try that. You have to buy backward fins. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, they fin backwards. They go into little holes that you really shouldn't be going into without a lot of training. They do a lot of things like that. And these back plates allow them to do those things. Make it easier anyway because of the extra weight and so on. So you take your back plate and what do you do? Well, once you get your back plate, then you choose the harness. Yeah, you have to hold on to your body somehow. So what was that? So you can see, same back plate, same slots for the belts, for the harness, same holes on the side for tying on the air cell. And now here's a harness. You buy a harness that fits your body. So you can have a five or 10 pound back plate and you're a tiny, tiny person. You want a small harness, there it is. Or you could be, Kevin, could you use one of these? I need to have a much larger harness because he's a big guy. So that's one of the beauties of it. And then you choose your air cell. Do you just need a 10 pound lift air cell? Or do you want a more common 20 or 25? Or do you have to have a big air cell, 50 or even more pounds of lift? 
You choose the one that fits onto your back plate. Later, if your diving needs change, you change. So it's a pretty universal and a pretty convenient system using the back plate. Now, you might notice this is a harness over your shoulder, around your tummy. And they often come with a crotch strap with two to hold it from your position. But there's no pockets. What do you do about that? Well, you buy pockets. Here's a big pocket. Boy, oh boy, you want to carry your gloves, gloves, light, tools, all kinds of things. And these, you see, fasten onto the harness. Maybe you want to have a weight pocket. This is a weight pocket. You can put up to five pounds of weight. You can have a couple of these on there. And these fasten onto the harness as well. There's all types of different types of pockets. This looks just like a quick release weight pocket. Guess what? It's exactly what it is. It's a quick release weight pocket. So this goes on to your harness as well. Anywhere you want. See the versatility is the beauty of using a metal back plate. So there you go. There's a little bit of information. We're going to spend some more time here at Dan's in the future. And Dan's is kind of the center for this area of Ontario for technical diving. So I'm going to get Matt and Dan, uh, the original owner, uh, to give me some more tips and some of their great gear here on technical diving and share some more information, just a little bit, to help you guys to, to get your technical divers off my back and to help your recreational divers understand what they're talking about. I hope there was something in there of interest to you, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips from Dan's Dive Shop. Talk to you soon.